um, His Royal Highness Osman Nankpa Dewey III, Paramount Chief of Polima in the Sisala West District, has a comment. So maybe we'll take that comment so that Minister can respond to all of that. Your Royal Highness. Thank you, Honorable. I'm grateful for the opportunity. I'm the Minister of Finance. It's very intriguing how the education is going on. A lot of doubt has been cleared from my mind today. Uh, coming here this morning from my village, Poloma. I was with my eldest when I told them I was coming for this meeting. They said I should ask on their behalf that uh, they're here, now they cannot do mobile money transactions without taxes. When I go back, I'll have a lot to tell them. The little I wanted to ask was mobile money from salary account withdrawing money from salary account into your wallet, which has just been answered. The other part of it is that the banks are charging 1% on every drawings you do, irrespective of the amount. I've had a negotiated agreement with the telecos. Does it include the banks? Because they are using almost the same platform. Where uh, a reduction could be could be done. So if I draw like say ten thousand, the bank will charge me hundred cities as one percent. And just a general comment, uh, finance minister. I've met you in private on other occasions, but not as the finance minister. Today I'm privileged to tell my people that I've met the finance minister, the the one in charge of our treasury silos. And that the back. you will be responsible for the Tumu Bolga Wa Highway construction. <laughs> yes. So, as we are very upbeat about that road construction, and I was happy to hear the Deputy Minister of Water and Sanitation say something about it. I'm just adding a voice. The Minister for Upper West Region has assured us, but I'm sure he will be begging from your treasury. So once you are here, please make that a possibility for my generation to benefit from an asphalt road. Those who brought my mother will call me a suckling, but I'm sure when I was about six years, we were told the road has been given on contract. It's been five decades and it's still on contract, Mr. Minister. Let's, let's, let's give His Royal Highness a big round of applause. Minister, so you have to look for more revenue into your treasury so that this, this contract that has been there for about 50 years, we can pay the contractor for him to do the job. Minister, we are in your hands to give us your final set of responses. Thank you very much, Your Royal Highness, and, and thank you for uh, speaking in public um, and so directly. Uh, I know that the uh, sort of the Tumu Road was some 85 kilometers to, um, and we've done about 35 of it, meaning there's some 50 kilometers that we have to do. And yes. They have divided the contract up so that we can get faster responses um, to that. Um, so that's clearly uh, a project that must be done and has to be done. Um, so t tell your constituents that we will get it done. You know, the banking charges, as you're talking about, um, really uh, banks charges, you know, for all sorts of things, including uh, mobile money, so it's not our influence. But yes, we did go to the telcos um, to negotiate because that was specifically uh, on, on Momo to reduce the impact 
um, on the citizenry. So that has been, has been cleared. Um, I think really, you know, as I listened to the questions and the reason why I was a bit more philosophical about understanding who we are as a people and the society we want to create, you know, will then give us a common language to be able to then ask the follow-up questions um, on that. Um, so, for example, um, as you mentioned um, from Poloma, you know, I think it will be right for 